I kind of feel like I did all right. They'll definitely be fun projects for Blake. They are kind of wild, but watch over the next few weeks and I think that'll change. Good morning, everyone. Today I'm taking a couple horses to the auction and thought I'd maybe tell you the story and let you know why sometimes we take horses to the auction and other times we try to sell them privately. I love going to the auction actually, just the atmosphere. I have good friends out there. Most of the people out there kind of think and believe as I do. They love this country. They love animals. They love our fr freedoms we enjoy. And uh, they're just good, hardworking people. And so I love to go out and rub shoulders with them. But sometimes, and a lot of times, we try to find buyers for our animals through just private sales. But today we're gonna to take these two horses behind us to the auction and I'll tell you a little bit about their story. I've seen two mama chickens this morning with new babies. It's so fun to see them coming out all the time. So Blake set a goal this summer to make $300 a week. And as a father, I feel it's my responsibility to try to help him accomplish his goals. And and uh, Blake has people always asking him, hey, would you come work for me today? Because he's such a hard worker. He has a reputation here in town of being a, a hard worker and dependable. So everyone would love for him to work for them, but I'm kind of selfish and say, Blake, I could really use your help around the farm and I'll help you accomplish your goals and as we uh, work on some projects together. So those of you that have been watching our channel know that we bought 16 Holstein calves this year and we got them on goat's milk and sometimes even nursing goats, got them on bottles and got them sold. But as we marketed the calves, we also gave the option that we may consider trades. Well, our last two calves, out of the 16, we ended up trading for these two horses. And we did give the people a $75, $79 bag of calf replacer, some uh, calf milk. Well, these horses are pretty good looking and we traded them for the two calves. And yet, one of those calves we had actually got free. We called that one Miracle. Here's a little bit about Miracle's story. Let me tell you the story about this little calf. We call him Miracle. We got to the dairy to pick up some calves and <laughs> they said, I know we told you you could buy five, but we're not gonna sell you this one. We don't know that it'll make it, We, but we'll give it to you. We think you guys may give it the best chance it could have. So we brought it home and, and uh, we'll follow Miracle story. We noticed that he was super constipated. He was trying to push some stuff out. And I don't know if this is normal or not, but we gave him an enema and uh, flushed some warm water up there and got his bowels moving. And then we gave him a little bit of goat's milk and he sucked for a little bit, but he was just too dehydrated and worn out to do much. So, we went and got Gatorade and put it in with the goat's milk. And again, I don't know if that's veterinarian prescribed, but the next day, check out Miracle, how he responded. Let's tell the world about it. Help spread a little light. It all comes back around. It feels so good to be alive. Today, we're gonna take these two to the auction 
the paint mare, the smaller mare with the bow back, she's 20 years old. She's a little older. She's gentle. Uh, I can put the kids on her. And then there's this bay mare that's 17 years old. And she was supposedly a, a barrel horse at one time. She's pretty. She's well broke. But we've got so many horses around here. And our intent in trading for these two was not to have horses we had keep on the farm but to to help Blake accomplish his goal to be able to sell and earn $300 a week this summer and I'll have you know that Blake's done well he's on target he's he's done a great job anyway we're gonna run these out to the auction and the reason I take a horse to the auction instead of selling it privately for one thing it's a quick sell I don't have to put it, post a advertisement. I don't have to wait for buyers to come and take the time to show them horses. Instead, I'll get an instant sale today. The other thing is, even though both of these horses are rideable and we've ridden both of them, they're just not a good fit for our farm. We have the keepers that we, that you've probably watched us ride. We have Lex and Chipper and 66. You can tell these two are kind of skittish. They don't want to, they don't like people as well. And so if I take them to the auction, there will be multiple buyers that can decide on if they think one of these might be a good fit for them. And that's the beauty of the auction is it brings a lot of buyers to one spot. And I may not get as much as I would if I sold privately and took more time to, to find a, a good fit for them. But like I say, in one day, I'll get them both sold and hopefully they'll both go to, to good homes. Anyway, I'm grateful for the Wagner family. I'll go ahead and throw a shout out to them with Valley Livestock. They, they're amazing people. Grateful for what they do, grateful for for auctions and the role they um, they play in the the market, it's just like in the used car business. There's car auctions. Sometimes the best way to do it is to put your car on the at the street corner with a for sale sign on it, or to put it on Craigslist or word of mouth. And other times, a used car dealer may just go to the auction with some of the cars he has because it's not the right fit for his lot or whatever. So that's what we're doing today. And hopefully these horses sell well, but since we're only into them a little bit, I think we're gonna do really well. So the horses since are we loaded up and I'm gonna head to the auction and drop them off. And Blake and Brody are gonna have fun messing with the goat cart. You guys have fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're to the auction and here's the line to drop off animals. There's some cows and here's some horses. And here's my own horses and some more coming behind me. So it'll be fun to see how it goes today. Don't take one. 
appreciate your business, your support. We'd like to send everybody home safe and safe. That's, that's our goal at the end of the day. He's all right, hey. 17 years old, still got a lot to go. Got that cute little head. By the head, $300. Three back in $250. Two and a half more on the money, 75, 60, 70, 280, 290, 310, in the back, 320, 50, 60, 370, 410, 410. That's the bid for her. This is the three. Hillary's old, worn out. She couldn't win an election, but she can put kids on her. She's gentle and slow. Well, that's Hillary. I, I had my, my 12 year old daughter was riding her bareback just the other day. A 12 year old girl was riding her bareback. That's a pretty nice mare. 20 years old, it's in pretty good shape. Sell it by the head, 250. I'm gonna be 20. What do you think, Mick? 210? Hey, doesn't Bill want Hillary or not? 30, 40, 40, 60, 260 bucks. 216, 7. That's all it took. 80, 280, 90, 300, 300, 300. 20, 320, 330 dollars, 340, she's really pretty, 340, nope, I shouldn't have said nothing, 330 per hunter, 330, yeah. broke really well, but has a little limp, likes to be, <laughs> oh, I won't go there, so we call it Michelle, it's <laughs> Michelle Hush, Well, it went pretty good. I'm leaving with the check for 386 bucks, and that's after buying two other horses. That wasn't the plan, but we got them cheap, and, and now we'll keep this trade, this bigger, better deal going on. So let's see what horses I just picked up. Two little fillies. One's a gray and white paint, and the other one is a buckskin. So I think Blake will be excited about these two little projects. Well, you know how I left to get rid of two horses? Yeah. I did. You came home with two or three or four or five. <laughs> Only two. Oh, they're cute. I like these. They're kind of wild, but they are cute. We got a buckskin filly it and looks like uh, spirit. yeah, and this gray and white paint filly. They're both old enough they could start getting ridden. Anyway, I'm so excited. Just don't get Blake bucked off, okay? I'm just trying. <laughs> I just can't wait to show Blake. I know. He's playing basketball right now. Okay. Well, I'm going to go unload him. So those of you that watch our videos, how do you think I did? I sold those two old mares. And I came home with these two young mares. And $386. So I kind of feel like I did all right. They'll definitely be fun projects for Blake. They are kind of wild, but watch over the next few weeks and I think that'll change.